Well, thousands of Cantabrians have poured through the doors of the Isaac Theatre Royal today to get up close and personal at the historic theatre. It follows its $40 million worth of restoration. The fundraiser will help keep the theatre open for another two years, and Marcus Gibbs was among the visitors. Beverly Stewart first visited the Isaac Theatre Royal nearly 70 years ago, when she was just a child. The 77-year-old is back today to get a first-hand look at the freshly renovated theatre. Just absolutely marvellous. Beverly is one of many who took the opportunity to visit for a personal tour of the building. Each person left in awe at the extent of their restoration work after the 2011 February earthquake badly damaged the theatre. Oh, I think you feel like you're in a, another world somehow. The steady crowd of theatre-goers, growing by the minute, much to the delight of the Theatre Royal's chief executive, Neil Cox. He oversaw the restoration work and is now seeking extra funds to help keep the theatre open for the next two years. We, we always said to the public in Christchurch that we'd build the theatre. It cost $40 million to do that, but we had to borrow significant amounts to, to actually to make that number. So um, there was about $2 million in commercial loans. We have to service those. It costs roughly about 150000 a year to service those. The aim of the Take the Stage campaign is to raise $150,000 needed to service that loan. The Christchurch Earthquake Appeal Trust will then match that amount. Before the doors opened this morning, nearly $100,000 had already been raised. With 10 days of the campaign left to go, Neil's hoping donations will pour in thick and fast. This is the second open day and the last one raised about $7,000 so we feel pretty confident that based on the crowd today we'll get close to that number as well. Front of house manager Kevin Knowles spent the morning leading groups to some of the best seats in the theatre. Well, this is the, the gods or the gallery as they used to call it. We used to climb up here, I think it was 99 steps. But nowadays you can ride up in a nice lift. This former actor turned staff member very much enjoying being a part of the Theatre Royal team. It's, it's a great theatre and uh, it's really marvellous to be back and it's being patronised tremendously. Seeing this painstakingly restored dome up close, a highlight of the tour. It's beautiful, yeah, absolutely. It's a credit to the people who've done it all up. And I just love the dome. I do. Yeah. Everyone who comes to the theatre and sees the theatre, um, it's just, they're just overwhelmed. They, and they just really feel that they're going back in time or going back to the theatre from 10 years ago. Around 90,000 Cantabrians have watched shows in the Isaac Theatre Royal since it reopened. Tomorrow night, The Phantom of the Opera launches, one of the biggest performances so far. The Phantom himself can't wait for when the curtains open, his first performance at the Isaac Theatre Royal. You can see it there, my home, my space. Um, I'm just really, really excited to be in here and, and attacking this show. Full noise in a brand, brand new theatre. It's not often you get to experience a new space. These theatre fans likely to be filling seats on the opening night. Marcus Gibbs, CTV News.